it's good to see you. Today we are at Dollar Tree in uh, Burlington, and this I think is the biggest Dollar Tree I have ever seen. And it's kind of tense here because right across the street you've got Dollar General and Ollie's. So it's like a face-off, like they're looking here, and then you got Dollar Tree. Look how gigantic that sign is. And when you walk up here, they even have a sign out front that says, welcome to one of the largest Dollar Tree, everything's a dollar stores in the world. So you come inside and I think this used to be a grocery store just from the looks of the outside of it. But you come up here and my goodness, this place is massive. Look what I just spotted. I just happened to, look at that. It's like a little Volkswagen bus. How cool is that? But that you can see that, you know, we've already got all our Christmas stuff out. Look at all the wrapping paper. Oh, here's some elf wrapping paper. I love that movie. Love it. The windows are a little dirty. <laughs> ah, whatever. That's some nice plain plaid wrapping paper. I like that. Oh, and A Christmas Story. Another one of my favorite Christmas movies. A pretty little flower. That door is just permanently open, I guess. But look, my goodness, this place is gigantic. It's, a, well, I mean, I, like I said, I think it used to be a grocery store. So it's, um, you know, they have a lot of aisles and space to fill. So I thought it would be really cool. I drove by here not too long ago and I saw this gigantic Dollar Tree. I said, oh my goodness, we have to go in there. I've never seen a Dollar Tree that big in my life. <laughs> Um, but look at all the pretty ornaments. Now, a lot of these are like um, the ornaments in the Dollar Tree. You know, any Dollar Tree really, doesn't matter where you are. They have the Christmas pickle. I've heard of that tradition. It's a German tradition, it says. They hide a small pickle ornament on the tree. And the first family member to spot it is rewarded with a special blessing for the coming year and receives the first present under the tree. That's cute. And, you know, they have beautiful, beautiful stuff. Look at this tree topper. You know, I can make, I can make 10 videos in here and we probably still wouldn't see everything. Look at these pretty flowers. It's so nice. Oh, they're soft too. Some of these they have little, little pine cones in there too. Looks like they fell out of there. These are decorative picks, it says. They're falling out all over the place. There. They're so sparkly. Oh, and we have toys. Oh my God, look at all the toys. <laughs> Holy mackerel, this is this store is huge. This is just one side. I mean, it, I mean, it, well, you can't really see. I mean, it goes all the way over there. Oh, we have got to come back here. Definitely, we will. We will definitely be back. Um, this is a store I could. I could stay in here all day showing you stuff. <clears throat> and then we have this one pitiful little section of fall stuff. <laughs> like this is. I know it's probably isn't all, but it's just kind of funny. Even here, it's being invaded by Christmas. There's this little tree sitting here, and a another tree in a box. Like Thanksgiving just can't get any respect. It's like the Rodney Dangerfield of holidays. Here's a little tree with uh, no no hangy thing on it. There you go. Let's bring that over here. That's where it goes anyway. That is kind of cute. It's made out of wire and tinsel. Oh, and they have red ones too. Little Santa buckets. If you want to trick or treat at Christmas time. And oh, neat little tins. Sounds like they're gremlins on that next aisle. They're turning. Wild over there. Okay. These are pretty little boxes. They're they're tin, like metal. Very pretty. They have a little ribbon on them. That'd be cute. You could make like some homemade fudge or something and put it in there. That's nice. Oh, basket bags. Oh, that's for, uh, that's Thanksgiving. Oh, that's pretty. You can make a little gift basket for somebody. 
blanket. And then, what's this? Oh, you can buy Christmas Village stuff. They don't have this in my Dollar Tree. You can get these little miniatures like this, and they light. You can use, you can use little LED tea lights in there. And they have these all these little miniatures. This one, the the thing broke, so it's you know not gonna stay up there too well. Little trees. Oh, that's cute. Little snow down there to put in your village. And then they have more flowers. Oh, I like the red and white ones. That's cool. Oh, these feel like velvet and they have gold glitter on the ends, on the tips of some of the leaves. These are pretty too. Little sparkly things you can make a little, you could use these in a wreath or a floral arrangement. They even have decorative nautical rope. How long is it? It's 13 feet of decorative nautical rope for a dollar. Or you could get a wire and uh, one of these wire frames and make a wreath. Oh wow, look at that. Adhesive diamond wrap. Ooh, that's beautiful. They have it in all kinds of colors. They have, well, they have blue and purple anyway. Looks like they're all just supposed to be hanging up here. And I guess somebody took a bunch of it down to see what they could find. That nautical rope goes there. Look at all this. Okay, maybe they only have two colors. <laughs> You can get blue or purple. Whatever you want to call it. Purple, fuchsia, something like that. I'm just fixing it. Just, I don't know. I just try to leave things nicer than the way I found them. And all kinds of pretty ribbon down here. Have thinner ribbon. Some that's a little bit thicker. This is like that adhesive stuff, but it's just a ribbon. But this one's pretty. That one's cool. I like that. And they even have burlap ribbon. That would be a neat thing to make a wreath out of. And here's a spare donut with a magnet on it. It's a squishy donut. I don't think that belongs over here. I thought at first I thought it was a little dog toy, but maybe not. They have decorative birds that are very pretty. Oh no, I like this. Look at this one. Oh, this one even has sequins on it. Sequins is so cute, and it comes with a little clip. You could put this on your tree or on a wreath or in your kid's hair or whatever you want to do. I have lots of these candy canes everywhere. It's giant, like you could stick them down in the ground or use them in your decorating. But it's just the sheer size of this place blows my mind. Look at all these cards. Whoa, mine doesn't have this many. They have two whole little uh, standalone sections of cards. My goodness, even the floor is nicer. See, I'm wearing my sparkly shoes today. Even the floor is nicer than the one where I go. Lots of party supplies. Oh, I love the Lego theme, that's cool. Oh, they have favor boxes that look like Legos too. Where was this stuff when my kids were still having birthday parties? Mine have kind of grown out of the whole birthday party thing. Um, ooh, back here we have, um, look at all the tablecloths. I like this one. It's like a bandana. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Black and white. That's nice. And they have zebra stripes. Wait, it looks like it has a little red, white, and pink polka dot border. Emojis. Oh, that one's pretty too. The stripes. Very nice. That one kind of looks like wallpaper. <laughs> this one. And then you have lots of forks and spoons and oh, plastic champagne glasses. Those are my, those are neat. Look how tall they are. My goodness. And then they have mini cordial glasses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some of this stuff I've never seen in Dollar Tree before. Mini wavy mini wavy plates. That's neat. Little tiny scoops and little plastic forks and spoons. They're so small. Oh, look how dainty they are. And these look like napkin rings. Oh, I love it. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody was in the process of putting out some 
bags or the hook. Oh, this thing fell. I think some of the hooks came came to undone. But whoa, a little pirate ship. That's cute. One thing I love about Dollar Tree is the bags, the gift bags. This one's really pretty. I like that. The sparkly happy birthday and the little cupcake covered in candles like mine would be. Oops, we just have little boo-boos all over the place back here. Oh, this one's nice. Get well soon. You're pretty. I like that. Oh, this one too. Look how shiny it is. Oh, nice. And then we get into some of the Christmas bags, and I'm going to need some of these. I I used up quite a few bags last year. This one's really pretty. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then we have, I'm sure they're going to put out more right now. Um, back here, anyway, they just have these. This one's pretty, too. I like that pattern. Very interesting. And you have decorative shred. It's like crinkle, crinkle cut paper in brown. Look at that cute little gift card box. That's precious. I don't think it goes there. I'm not really sure where it goes. I don't see them anywhere, but they have blue crinkle paper, decorative shred. Really pretty. You can use that a bunch of different ways. And they have white and red. All kinds of different tissue paper as well. This is pretty. That pattern is cool. I like that. And then you can also get plain gift bags like these and different colors like pink, like a lilac, and white, yellow, red, blue, and different sizes as well. You can get little bags. And these you could actually, you could draw something on there. You could put a picture on there. Those are a little bit bigger. And then they have small ones like these. The red ones go right there all different kinds of colors oh they even have valentine bags <laughs> if you really want to get a head start <laughs> you could start planning now for valentine's day i don't think it will though oh look dish soap you know that's not bad for a dollar that's 30 ounces that's all right you can get citrus fresh apple lemon oh island fresh Cool. The only thing about it is um, I find that most of these dish soaps dry my hands out really bad. So um, I use the Dawn with um, Olay moisturizer in it. I don't see any of that though. But we have cleaning products galore. We just looked at cleaning products a few days ago at Family Dollar. But we have them here too. The home store. You can get this great big bottle. 32 ounce bottle of glass cleaner for a dollar. That's a really good deal. Glass and surface cleaner, an aerosol can, heavy foam shower cleaner, super oxygen. Looks like that goes down there. Here, do that. I'm trying to bring it up a little bit. This wasn't supposed to be an organizing video, but just indulge me for a minute. Ugh. This doesn't even go here. I think this goes over here. But look, we just have aisles and aisles and aisles of stuff. Oh, we have got to come back here. We are so going to come back here. Well, this goes here, kind of, but I need two hands to do this properly. Oh. Oh, I, I would do it for free. I would come in here and straighten this for free because I love, I love doing that. I love organizing stuff like this. You know, putting everything where it belongs. It just, I don't, it, it makes me happy to do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. We're just going to look. Okay. You can get these adorable little bottles of laundry detergent. Oh no, that's fabric softener. Sorry. And so is that. We have Downy and Gain and more Downy. And the refrigerated section is over here. It's really loud. I mean, you can hear the, the compressors. It's just really loud. 
we don't have to go over there. It's, it's noisy over there, but we have dish racks galore. Little storage shelves, like you can put this in your cabinet to store your stuff on. I need some of these. I do, I need to come check these out. Now, see, again, my Dollar Tree doesn't have all this. I don't think they have anything like this. These little storage shelves, like these, oops. They're all tangled up. You have these little storage shelves, these little shelves like this. I need some of those for my cabinets. I may have to come back and check that out on a day when I have more time. I actually don't have a lot of time today. Look at all the water. My word. Oh, this is so different. I've never been in a Dollar Tree that had all this before. You have all kinds of drinks. Sparkling ice. Peach nectarine. I want to get a job here just straightening the shelves. I wonder if they would let me come in and do that. It's <laughs> just... They didn't have to pay me. Just let me come do it. <laughs> I know. That's cute. I've never seen a little VH splash like that. I mean, I've seen the big containers, but I've never seen a little bottle like that. Oh, that's cute, too. You can even get a little bottle of Martinelli's sparkling cider. That's cool. I am not familiar with this. And over there is the candy. Um, oh, they have Russell Stover's. Oh my goodness, look at all the candy. <gasps> wow, we. Oh my goodness, what a selection. Look at all the Werther's. If you just talk about Werther's, you have chewy caramels. And they have caramel apple, creamy caramel filled. And then these are just the caramel hard candies. Sugar free, caramel coffee. Oh my gosh. Oh, bit of honey. I love these. I really hated it when I had braces and I couldn't have those. Tootsie's fruit, uh, fruit Chews. My dad loves these. I buy them for him every year for his birthday and Christmas. Brock's Maple Nut Goodies. He loves those. Oh, and a cute little bag of Skittles. Look at that. A little cute three and a half ounce bag of Skittles. That's all right. And all kinds of different hard candies like lemon, peppermint, oh, butterscotch. And these are all sugar free as well. Warheads, my younger son likes those. Sugar free hard candy, just chocolates, gumballs, just all kinds of yummies. Mentos individually wrapped. And they have the fruit flavor too. And the individually wrapped double bubble gumballs. You can even get you can get a bag of cotton candy too. Two and a half ounce bag of charms, fluffy stuff, cotton candy. And they have the good chocolate. This is what at Halloween we call it the good chocolate, like <laughs> Milky Way, Snickers, York peppermint patties. I love those. Butterfinger. This is probably my favorite candy bar is Butterfinger. It's so good. Reese's, peanut butter cups, Kit Kat, Twix. That's the good chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. But it's it just, oh my God, look at the grocery section. Whoa. Oh, we're definitely coming back here again. They have Mrs. Freshly's Swiss Rolls. I'm not a big fan of that, those, but... These aren't bad. They're like Nutty Buddies, Buddy Bars. Those are good. Um, cup of Noodles. They taste like college. Uh, oh, they even have bread. Look at all the bread products. I love these little cinnamon swirls. Those are, those are really good. They have hamburger buns, hot dog buns. You can get a loaf of bread for a dollar. That's fantastic. And yeah, look at the, they have a big frozen food section too. Golly, Pete. Look at all the stuff you can get for a dollar. Holy cow, you can get soft pretzels, um, frozen peaches. You can get a sausage and cheese biscuit. Hmm. Frozen dinners. You can buy waffles, pancakes, hot dogs. You can even get cheese. They've got pepper jack cheese from Nevada. 
and then they have refrigerated drinks. You can even get a dozen eggs for a dollar. I'll be dull. My God. Okay. Yeah, this blows my Dollar Tree away. I know, I'll stop saying that. I'm just, I cannot get over how much they have in here. Um, and look at all these little containers. Little things, and they have the, the rubberized bottom where you can put stuff in there and it'll stay in place and not clank around all over and they have them in different sizes too nice a little bowl that's a nice size too and it's microwave safe that's that would be a good little mixing bowl or to heat up something in and then they have little round ones like this too you get two of those for a dollar and strainers. I actually have this strainer right here, the Betty Crocker red one. I have that very strainer. I use it pretty often. All kinds of little, like little chip clips. Some of these have magnets on the back. Some of them don't. I don't know what's going on back there, but it sounds scary. Utensils. Wow, look at the gleaming, shiny utensils. This is the kind of spatula I like because it's straight across and it doesn't have that rounded bit. I just prefer that kind. They have a bunch of them. They have one like this too, a slotted one. Wow, and these are all um, nylon products, ladles and spatulas and little pasta servers. Little measuring spoons. And measuring cups. And these are all Betty Crocker products. They're mostly red, as you can see, just kind of like the trademark Betty Crocker color. And over here we have some hair products, some cool little brush. I don't know where this came from, though. I don't see it anywhere. Shower caps. Elastics. Neato. Oh, and baby, baby stuff, baby snacks. <laughs> what we got over here? We got foot stuff. I've actually used these these insoles for high heels, and they work great. I really do like them. You get one pair for a dollar, and they they actually work pretty well. They cushion the ball of your foot really well. They even have real tree uh, socks for men for a dollar a pair. All oh, these socks are cute little robots. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, look, it's little mermaid socks. Little knee-high socks. Those are cute. Little emoji socks. Cupcakes. Hearts. Oh, I like the ones with the little foxes on them. And a bunch of pretty scarves. Wow, oh, that's cool. And over here we have more uh, containers. These are ones with lids on them. I like the disposable ones like this. Um, sometimes I'll take leftovers to work in these, and that way, if I forget them, if I leave them in the refrigerator and forget them, and they get thrown away, you know, it's not a big deal. Here's a, oh, it's a, it's a bubble one, but it looks like a microphone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've never seen a bubble one quite like that. And you look up the front, my God, this place is massive. Oh, look at these little baby sunglasses. Look, they're so little for little bitty kids. They have all different kinds of uh, sunglasses for adults. And then over here, now this is this is kind of like what we looked at not too long ago. You know, we I did some straightening of the um, the pain relievers and stuff at a different Dollar Tree, not this one. This is the first time I've ever been in this one. Like you can get six caplets of Tylenol. That's cool. Or you can get muscle rub, arthritis, and muscle pain relief, cough drops, a cute little bottle of antacid, kind of like Tom's. That's cute. What's this? Beauty Benefits Hollywood. They can get a cute little eyeshadow thing. Oh. I think we did look at these before, but this is this has a lot more to it than the one I looked at. Pressed powder in different shades. And they have a color palette. What is this? Oh, that's a blush. It's very light though. 
That's that's a bra okay, bronzer. So that's just a little bit of everything in here. Hand sanitizer. Wow. Oh, and the reading glasses. I have bought so many pairs of reading glasses in here. Um, if you see the grumpy librarian, she's always wearing a pair of these. Well, I think she's always had on a pair of glasses or had a pair around her neck or something. And those were all Dollar Tree glasses. Um, so then you get on over into the makeup. And look at all the nail polish. Holy moly compared to mine. That's unbelievable. And you see each one has a little section. And they're, oh God, they're all messed up. <laughs> We could make a two-hour video fixing this nail polish. You know that? And see, let's see. It would be like finding a needle in a haystack to try to figure out where all these went. That's a pretty color, though. I like that. Really, I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know where this one came from, for example. It would take me all day to straighten this out. But they're all kind of mixed up. They have some pretty ones, though. Like that gold glitter is nice. A nice light pink. My problem with light pink nail polish is usually it is so um, transparent that you have to put on three or four coats for it to look right. It's frustrating. Ooh, this is sassy and chic. That's very pretty. A lot of this is LA Colors. Color craze, but not all of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and over here we have nail, uh, sorry, hair products, like little barrettes, all kinds of things for little kids, like, look at all these cute little, oh, look at that, all these different colored little hair clips and things, that's awesome, I love it, and look at all the hair brushes, I like that detangler brush, I need that for my kids and me little curved styling brush oh god banana clips these were so popular when I was younger back in the 80s these were all the girls use those well not all of them but most of them if your hair was long enough and all kinds of shampoos and things gosh but unfortunately I don't have time to show you everything like I gotta go <laughs> I do. I seriously do have to go. I wish I didn't, but unfortunately I do. Cute little tote bags. I like that. Oh, and look at these hats. Look at these little hats. I like this little toboggan. How cute is that? If you're from the south, this is called a toboggan. I know that's a sled, but when you're down here, it's a, it's a hat. A toboggan is a, a knit hat like that. So anyway, thank you so much for coming to check this out, and we will definitely be back because this store is massive. We didn't even look at half of it. So we will definitely come back, and we will check out more at another time. Look at all the balloons up there. <laughs> I was grinning at the balloons. It looks like they're dancing because the air is making them do that. But thank you so much for coming to check it out, and I will see you again soon.